Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming, playing Inquisitor Martyr, and uh, for this video I'm going to be looking at a build that's been requested, which is a shotgun build. So let's go into a mission and let's see how we get on. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Now the main skill we're going to be using is Circle, which is a run and gun style attack. Um, it does have quite good damage and obviously we can pay um, attention to our health as well so we can always switch to our standard attack if we need to but this is a good mobility skill. So the damage output of shotguns is quite good these days, they've definitely buffed them um, in the last update. A bit like they have done with the heavy bolter as well. Um, the one thing that I'd be interested in seeing is I'm eventually going to be adding the multiple shot um, SOM doctrine to this shotgun. So that will hopefully start spreading each of the single pellets there into three so we will have a ridiculous amount of spread we'll reduce the skill damage though that's the problem so we will have to uh, make sure that we're still doing enough damage per hit um, we don't want to make it so that we have to hit everything 10,000 times to do any any damage right so we're not quite damaging enough now so switch to our standard shot rather than our run shot which does a little bit more damage and we've also got triangle shot which um, reduces spread and increases damage overall which is useful so although we're going to have circle as our main ability it's not our only ability and that's important now one thing we're also not going to do is we're not going to rely on critical hits because when we rely on critical hits it gives us the weakness that if critical hits are disabled in any mission our build is actually completely nerfed so we're gonna build this as though we're not um, going for criticals at all and criticals are then just a bonus Should be fighting Nurgle in this day and age rather than Tyranids. Sent his nasty plague around the world. So I've only had to use one inoculator charge so far, which is quite good. This is um, higher difficulty than uh, I am because I'm only level 69. And this is a 70. Um, and as it's completely unoptimized, the skills on the armor, etc., are not um, what I really want. Um, so I could do much better. Burn, burn. Just going to get this chest. So the main things to take into consideration when we are using a shotgun are that you will need to use all of the skills available to you because your run shot is very good as a standard ability which is mapped to circle um, but it's not going to be good if you run into a a lot of enemies and b harder enemies so it's good to run towards the enemy because i think it's got a longer range than standard because it does start shooting as soon as you start running but once you've got there especially with the uh, harder characters you don't just want to be running forward so you can then switch to your triangle shot which is um, a limited cone diameter and because of that limited cone diameter it does more damage to a single target 
um, your square ability does more damage from a, sta a stationary position but it's overall slower fire rate and I think it's also if I'm not mistaken weak against armoured oh no it has got giant killer 75% damage bonus against villain commander boss and elite um, I think it is the only one that's got that as well yes it has so your run forward ability is weak against armoured so if you ever get an armoured character you do need to use your standard attack um, you also have flechette round so high velocity penetrator round so that's really good as well it's charged and it's piercing so all of them have their own use So these are armoured now, so we switch to our standard shot, and it takes them out a lot quicker. There we go, let's get this chest. The good thing about the run shot is um, if anything tries to run away you can chase it down while you're still shooting so it can be very useful for those um, horrible enemies who tend to run away. There are some of them and especially on a purge that's a nightmare because you literally end up running around most of the map trying to get them. Okay, I think the last lot are hiding. And just while I think about it, I hope everyone is keeping safe during this um, very strange time period in life. Um, obviously, working from home, doing everything inside, you can't go out, you're not allowed to talk to people. Um, if you do, it's got to be via technology rather than face to face um, all of the things that people have been saying is very bad for social interaction for years we're now being told that we have to do it so it's a little bit weird um, very isolating luckily I do have my amazing girlfriend with me who's sitting with me on the sofa at the moment being very lovely and reading her book um, but uh, yeah it could be very very different and i could be on my own and she could be on her own and um it's uh, something that really is not um it's not nice it's not ideal and there are some people who have nobody else so uh hopefully if uh, you do fall in that category that you are on your own these videos um do go some way to um Give you some interaction with people so if that is the case please do leave a comment down below start a conversation and uh, i'll do my best to reply and talk to you um and i'm not trying to be daft there that's a, a very serious thing because there are some people who have no family um unfortunately so if you are one of those people then you know do obviously reach out leave me a comment leave me uh any question or random statement or even just a start of a conversation and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can do so that being said I've just finished the mission so uh, I will head back to the ship and we'll go through just uh, a few more things on the character and then I'll call the mission and the video to an end Okay, so 
if we have a look at my character sheet, we've got as many points as possible into warfare. Um, that's obviously what's giving us our damage output. Secondary to that, we want toughness. So um, anything that gives us a bonus to those will be ideal. Now, bearing in mind, if you've put a point in, you can take points out whenever. So if you get to 25 points um, and then you start to go over 25 points, so you get more and more bonuses to warfare, try and balance that out with toughness. So you end up with 25 in each. Um, obviously you want more than that if possible, but um, try and keep them as close as you can, provided Warfare is at 25. So uh, that's why I haven't balanced them out just yet, because I'm only just at 25. The reason we want 25 is because we want that uh, Beast Law plus 15% damage against Elite and Boss enemies. That's quite crucial, especially with this particular build. For our perks, we want close quarters gunnery because with a shotgun, they're always within medium range. We've got adaptive efficiency for 50% ammo capacity because um, we do want to be able to carry on shooting as much as possible. And then the artificer magazines because it gives 20% damage bonus for solid projectile weapons. Now these are obviously open to uh, discussion because if you're not worried about the ammo capacity, there are various different skills that you can use. What you're basically looking for is you're looking for um, anything which will add damage for ranged weapons, um, projectile weapons against certain types of enemy. So um, there you go, we've got 5% critical chance and 10% critical hit strength against debuffed enemies. So if you know you always play a debuff, you can use one of those. Um, so it's it's quite important to to go for these sorts of things. Now, Stagger Exploitment used to be much better um, because it used to be that you were basically adding that against an enemy per debuff, but it doesn't do that anymore. Um, so. There are things that have changed. Um, there we go. We could use run and gun, for instance. 35% ranged damage bonus for two seconds after moving. So, because we're using the circle ability where we are moving, we can basically add that 35% damage permanently when we're using our run ability. So, that could be a good alternative as well. In fact, I will put that on the next time we try. As for passive, we want damage bonus. We can ignore the hit and run. Damage bonus. Let's take that extra one anyway. Grenade skills we're not interested in, but that gives us the critical hit chance all the way to the end. And then we've got range damage bonus to get us the ammo fed weapons. Now we don't need the channeled skills and we don't need heavy weapons unless we are going for our grenade launcher and then we could go for that but basically that has freed up one skill point which we can now add into critical hits here we go so area of effect what we're looking for is we're currently looking for cone and path effect skills this one doesn't seem to actually be affected um, so I'm not personally minded to get that. What I would do is just get your cone skills and then as and when you get your grenade launcher to a stage where you might use that more, then start looking at the increased radius. But if it's only your secondary weapon, it's probably worth spending the skill points on something different. So for instance, we can carry on with our critical hits skill tree. So we can actually do healings on, healing on critical hits um, and we can improve our chance to get those critical hits. For some reason it's taken all of our ranged combat ones out as well. I don't know why it does that. Just decide sometimes to do it. There we go. And if we then put it into debuffs as well we can eventually work towards the center. Now, 
5% damage bonus for each critical hit on there we go so we've got an armor piercing attack but it's not overly important at this stage so as for armor piercing attacks it says piercing penetrates multiple targets but it's not armor piercing so we don't actually have any armor piercing attacks we do have one that adds vulnerability a physical vulnerability so any um, items or skills which say vulnerability skills that is one of them so we can use that to our advantage as well and obviously shred is quite important to note because it does mean your damage in is decreased the further that you you are away so the closer you are the more damage you do for obvious reasons um, and that is both of our main attacks so it's our circle ability and our x ability so that's uh, worth taking into account as well so guys that is the shotgun build if you are looking for a shotgun try and get it so um, you've either got something along the lines of debuffs on targets do extra damage healing uh, per kill or hit or healing on critical um, there are some where you can say do double damage a chance to do double damage and heal that amount that's obviously really useful um, the one that I'm showing on screen at the moment 12% of missing hit points restored on a demon kill um, that's really useful as well especially if you are up against demons <laughs> um, if you're not up against demons then it's less useful but uh, I'm sure there are other ver versions of the same um, gun does mean that you got to swap your gun depending on what the mission is but it depends how you want to play it really there we go that's it guys thank you very much for watching I really do appreciate it if you've enjoyed the video please make sure you click the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and click the bell icon so you are notified when I do upload my next video and leave me a comment down below as I say anything you want to talk about um, whether it's uh, lockdown, whether it's um, skills, whether it's this build in particular, whether it's different games that you want me to try, just let me know and we can start that conversation. Anyway, thank you very much guys. As I say, I really do appreciate your views and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care. Bye for now.